We have been reporting on a homeless encampment that's been moving around in South Minneapolis. There's debate over how best to address it and help the people living there. Just last night, we told you about ordinances proposed by Minneapolis City Council members to regulate these encampments. Well, the city of Rochester is taking action of their own. This week, the city council took a first vote on a ban on encampments. Richard Reeve is live in Rochester to explain. Yeah, Lindsay, city leaders here say they're trying to maintain a delicate balance. They say they've gotten complaints about activities in the park. At the same time, they say they want everyone in the parks to be safe. Rochester leaders aren't mincing words as they try to solve a growing issue. Last summer, we cleared up over 130 encampments. But the city council here is trying something different. Passing on Monday, the first reading of an ordinance that would ban camping in public spaces. They have to be warned first. They have to be uh, given a list of services which we've been providing regularly for the last two years. And they really have to have another place to go uh, before we can remove them. The police department says officers won't be making contact with those experiencing homelessness. Instead, what's known as a community action team, social workers, peer counselors, and recovery specialists will connect people with services. But one group working with those experiencing homelessness fears a revolving door. They're camping outside and, you know, kind of how is this process going to go? You're arrested, you're in jail for a night, you get a bed, you get a meal, and then you're put back out on the street. Police say there will be caveats that if there are no shelter beds available, people will not be taken into custody overnight. Punishing them is not going to help. The ACLU says it's watching this process closely. The group says cities should make finding permanent housing a priority, not just short-term shelters. If um, somebody has too many belongings to um, be able to take into the shelter, if they have a pet, if they have a physical addiction that's going to require them to go into withdrawal. Now, this is the first reading of this ordinance. A final vote is to take place sometime in March. But strictly speaking, right now, the way it's written, uh, if violators could face up to 90 days in jail and $1,000 in fines, the police department says even if this does go ahead, there will be about a month to a month and a half education period so the community can understand what's going on. Reporting live, Richard Reeve, 5 Eyewitness News.